37. I'm just going to bring you this from Mohammed. Morning, Mohammed. It says, I've been a Doctor Who fan since it began in 1963. Good to see Stephen and Anna fans too. I think it's a generation thing. No. It's a regeneration thing. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. so I've been thinking about that one for the last three minutes. Thanks for getting in touch. Um, should we have a look at the newspapers today? The Sunday Times is running front page. Uh, it covers the Sussexes, who are asking now for a formal apology from us all, I presume. What yeah. else would they ask for? Yeah, uh, the Express, Sunday Express, talks about the Home Secretary's <clears> place <throat> to stop migrant deaths and take control of British borders. And then patients on mental health wards in hospitals are dying from neglect. That's according to the front page of The Independent. The Telegraph is discussing the role of the armed forces in the ongoing industrial action and how they're going to cover it. And in the mirror, you can read about the side hustle of UK prison inmates who are being paid £3.50 a day by the taxpayer to strip recyclable materials from wasted COVID PPE. Get your head around that one. And the sun on Sunday, no surprise, they're <coughs> running with Harry and Meghan as well. Get fed up seeing all the headlines about them, actually, now. Yeah, getting that way. Um, should we go through the papers um, with Emma Burnell and Fraser Myers once again? Good to see you both this morning. Can we have a look at The Sun on Sunday, Emma, and Britney Spears' dad, who was vilified, of course, over the last... Sort of months. keeping her as prisoner, almost. Yeah, I mean, she had this conservative ship, conservatorship for 13 years. Now he's made a very sympathetic documentary to himself, um, saying, no, no, she would have died without it. And I mean, there were... Britney's freedom was completely curtailed through this... Uh, it's the thing that's supposed to be an intervention. It's not supposed to be something that lasts for years and years and years for a grown adult. And grown adults need to be able to have the space to make mistakes. Oh. And he's saying, oh, you know, she would have gone broke without it. Well, that's her choice in many ways. But, we he, had he, to, but he could well be. I mean, she was right. in a state. She, she was, was a in a state. And there was a terrible state. state. There was individual, there was intervention needed definitely at one point. But I don't think any of us would say that 13 years is appropriate no. to have no. that kind of constrictor on your life. I and mean, what kind of life is that? Yeah, she well... She expected to work during that time yeah, and yes. perform and things yeah. like that to a high level. So, yeah, it just seemed very... But apparently this sort of thing can happen in the States. I don't think it would happen here. I think our rules are different, our laws are different. Uh, well, one would certainly but, hope so. But it's happened <laughs> in the past with other um, famous people where they, 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 uh, there is this conservatorship where some one other person can take over your life. Yeah. Um, and it doesn't seem to be generally reviewed. And there seemed to be nothing she could do mm. to get it reviewed no. until it went through the courts several times. I mean, yeah, there was a, she was fighting it for a really, really long and time. And frankly, it was because of her. A huge fan base in the end that there was a movement towards yeah, looking at her case yeah. free britney wasn't it yeah absolutely and you know um i'm not i'm not always a huge fan of uh you know slightly manic um pop culture movements but on the other hand this seems to have done some actual good yes. good fun yeah. yes. um meanwhile talking of the very rich and very famous in the mail on sunday fraser steven spielberg has admitted well, it's not admitted anything. He, he said he thinks sharks might be mad at him. Yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he thinks they're out to get him. So he says he, he you know, he won't, he's, he's afraid of going into the water, not just, not particularly because he's afraid of being eaten, but he thinks that the sharks would want to take revenge for Jaws because his theory is that Jaws has actually, unfortunately, uh, set off a trend for shark hunting and has promoted, um, you know, the fear of sharks among the population. Well, now, I think because he did. He did say in the, in the in the clip I heard it this morning um, that I mean it, it led to a, a real rise in mm. the 70s of shark fishing, and he said it, it, it is a real sense of regret for him that, that the movie led to that. Yeah, I, mean, I think I think you know he's, he's genuinely sad about the um, the prospect <coughs> of um, you know shark numbers depleting and, and things like that. Um, I guess I'm interested in the in the idea that it's, it promoted this kind of shark phobia because I, I think fear of sharks is justified to yeah. a certain yeah, extent given their given their capabilities. Especially great white. Yeah. <laughs> 
I think the question is, because I went swimming in California and my friend was stood on the shore white as she, oh, what are you doing? And I'm like, yeah, honestly, the number of people who are going to be caught by a shark is so minimal. I drive a car. Yeah, but you don't want to be the one. No. I don't want to be the one, but I also don't want to be the one of many who has a car accident, but I still drive a car. You take your risks every day. Um, so I think there's a difference between justified fear of sharks don't go up and hassle them and never swimming in the ocean yeah, again which yeah. I think would be a real loss to I mean swimming in the ocean is an extraordinary feeling mm. uh, one, one a nice detail that the, that the male picks up is a good reminder of um, the scariest bits in Jaws are actually when the shark doesn't appear yes. Yes. when it creates yeah. suspense well, and that was what was brilliant about the movie because mm -hmm. the robotic shark failed for, yeah. for the yeah. first several months of shooting so they had to figure out a way to make a scary movie without actually seeing and, the shark and the all. actual shark is the the robot shark, if we'd have seen too much of it, yeah. would have taken yeah, away the mis absolutely. mystery. It's I not that good. It's so much better when it's hinted at rather than mm -hmm. just all the CGI and you see everything. It doesn't scare me at all. Whereas a good psychological thriller, which is essentially what well, Jaws was, mm -hmm. it's well, with the music, the, yeah. Yeah. the music yeah. was the key to it. I mean, yeah. you, never, you never forget that. It is a terrifying film. Absolutely. It, is. Yeah. it doesn't mean we need to take it out. And, and if you ever go to <laughs> Universal Studios, <laughs> where oh, apparently, yeah. They yeah, no yeah, it, apparently they no longer have the Jaws. I mean, I saw it yeah. But it is terrifying, ago. and all it is is a cardboard fin in the I water. Remember, I remember being like, yeah. absolutely terrified. I'm getting silly by that as a child, yeah. 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 Uh, there you go. Um, now, Christmas dinner. Um, we're going to talk about Christmas dinners with uh, Kevin Woodford in just a moment. Um, but 20% uh, of us are going veggie. Yeah, uh, which is probably in line with the fact the rest of the other 364 days of the year when people eat veggie. Uh, what's great is that I'm, I'm when I was at university, I, I'm a meat eater, but I try to eat more vegetarian food as I can. But uh, my best who's, friend was a who's vegetarian. Written that, who's written that headline? Goodbye, gobble gobble. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have no comment on that. Yeah. <laughs> Not at this time in the morning. Um, there's, yeah, my best friend was a veggie in, in, and she didn't eat mushrooms. And there was nothing she could eat no, at that point. Eat mushrooms. That's but amazing. now we have so much great choice in, in uh, the vegetarian options, you know, from the fake meat stuff to uh, a really lovely nut roast. Mm. You can actually have a wonderful Christmas feast without yeah. me eating meat if that's what your choice is. That's interesting. Yeah. One in five, that's quite a big mm. change, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Huge shift. Oh, my uh, brother in law is a chef. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and 20 years ago, he'd have told you, I'm not messing about with that vegan, namby mm. pamby vegetarian. Now he's so excited mm. to find new interesting recipes. It's I'll fantastic. tell you what, if you go to a good vegetarian restaurant, I mean, I've been vegetarian for 40 odd years, but I mean, if you if you go to a, a, a really good vegetarian restaurant, even I sometimes am just amazed at what mm. they can do. Mm. Absolutely. Lovely, tasty things. Mm. Really, 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 really nice gorgeous. stuff. So it's. It's worth having a dabble in. Yeah. If you're that way inclined. But if you don't fancy it, don't do it. I mean, I'm not one of those. No, my sons will want nice. meat. Yeah. <laughs> meat has to be there. I mean, big I, I will. Meat, it, it's I'll, actually, I'll my, dad's, da, my dad's chicken liver pate is, is cri the taste of Christmas for me. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> No, I can't do that anymore. I can't no. think of anything more disgusting. But <laughs> I know, yeah, let's that's not go there. Me. That sounds awful. Oh, that's anyway, so nice. Is it? Well, it's, <laughs> so what, it's what floats your boat. It's what it floats your boat. Well, and at the end of the day, I always think, anyway, the most interesting part of uh, 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 Christmas lunch is the gravy, mm. isn't it? Mm. It's gravy and all the schmaltzy bits. Yeah, little bits of sauces, yeah. Yeah. horseradish. Just a little bit of everything. I mean, I'm so lucky. But bread sauce. Nobody bread. ever has bread sauce any other oh, time. Oh, no, we have bread sauce. I love is bread sauce. It's an absolute essential yeah, Christmas essential. I will not. Mint sauce, even though you haven't got lamb, mint sauce is good. Uh, the joke in our maybe. household was that we hear that theoretically cold bread sauce the next day is better, but we've never got to that stage. No. <laughs> Lovely. No. Lovely. No. Looking no, forward to it now. I've ever had bread sauce. Bread sauce oh, is really wonderful. Cool. Really oh. cool. It's lovely. Oh, well. Get some this year. Can you buy it in a pack? <clears throat> Oh, yeah, you can buy them, you know, your Marks and Spencers and Waitroses and not gonna Littles and everything. They all do strange. a bread sauce. No, no, just heat it up in the microwave. Well, look, you two, have a lovely Christmas because we will see you all yeah, there. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry yeah. Christmas. Thank you for having us.